Probability Distribution Models. Hi, I'm Dr Nick, and in this video I'm going to introduce the idea of families of specific distribution models. This video follows on from understanding random variables. If you are not familiar with the concept of a random variable, you will need to watch that video first. All random variables have distributions. When we think of a probability distribution, we tend to think of the normal distribution, which is the most well known. But there are many other distributions, such as binomial, Poisson, uniform and triangular. These distributions are used to approximate the behaviour of a random variable, to help us answer questions and build mathematical models. Other videos deal with different distributions individually. Many probability distributions have been developed or discovered that can be used to model a real-life process. In the video, Understanding Random Variables, we learnt about the distribution for the number of ice creams customers usually buy from Luke. This was a discrete distribution. The probabilities for the different numbers of ice creams came from historical records that Luke had kept of sales. We could answer questions about the predicted number of ice creams for future customers using the distribution of the experimental frequencies and the summary expected value in standard deviation. Certain types of processes lead to random variables that are well modelled by specific families of distribution models. If the random variable we are modelling behaves similarly to a known family of distributions, it can make building models and answering questions simpler. Here are some brief examples of families of distributions. Binomial distributions. Example. From his previous records, Luke knows that about 30% of ice creams overall get dipped in chocolate. There are two outcomes for each ice cream, dipped or not dipped. Luke is interested to know what is the probability that more than 5 out of the next 20 ice creams will be dipped. Luke can use a binomial distribution to model the distribution of the number of ice creams that are dipped out of the next 20 ice creams. This binomial distribution is called binomial n equals 20, p equals 0.3. We can use tables or a computer to find specific probabilities, such as the probability that x is greater than 5. Poisson distributions, example. Luke has recorded that during a Saturday morning, about 42 customers arrive per hour. The number of customers arriving in a specified length of time can be modelled as a Poisson distribution. We would model the customer arrivals as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 42 per hour or 0.7 per minute, or 3.5 every 5 minutes. Luke can use this information to estimate the probability of getting two or fewer customers in the next five minutes. The probability of getting two or fewer customers in the next five minutes with a mean of 3.5 arrivals per five minutes is 0.32. Both the binomial and Poisson distributions are discrete. Uniform. The uniform distribution can be either discrete or continuous. It is used for outcomes that are equally likely or that can be modelled as equally likely. Normal and triangular distributions. The normal and triangular distributions are continuous distributions, which means that the random variable is a measure rather than a count. Here is an example of a random variable that can be modelled using several different distributions. Luke decided to weigh his ice creams to evaluate how consistent he is in his scooping and to model his ice cream usage in the future. He weighs 76 ice creams to the nearest gram and gets the following distribution of weights. Luke realises that this is just a sample of all the ice creams he scoops, but it is enough to get a rough idea. The distribution looks somewhat bell-shaped, so he decides to fit a normal distribution. A normal distribution is often used for human, natural or manufacturing processes. The sample has a mean of 111.9 grams and a standard deviation of 9.2 grams, so Luke uses this information to specify the normal distribution. However, 
Rina thinks a triangular distribution is more suited, as the sample distribution is not symmetric. Rina uses the maximum and minimum values and the peak value to fit the triangular distribution. So now Luke has a choice. He can use values from his actual distribution, or from a normal approximation, or from the triangular distribution approximation. Depending on the circumstances, any one of these could be the most suitable choice of model. Luke decides to compare the answer to a question from each of the three models. Luke really thinks all his ice creams should be between 100 grams and 120 grams in weight. If he uses the distribution drawn directly from his data, he finds that 75% of his ice creams are in the desired range. If he uses a normal distribution based on a mean and standard deviation from his data, he estimates that 71% of ice creams are within the range. If he uses Rena's triangular distribution based on the minimum, maximum and peak of his data, he estimates that 74% of the ice creams are within the desired range. Which probability distribution model Luke decides to use depends on what information he has and the purpose for the model. You can find out more about individual families of distributions, their assumptions and when you would use them in our other videos. This video was brought to you by Statistics Learning Centre. Visit our website for more resources to help you learn. Sign up on Patreon to help us keep producing high quality educational videos and subscribe to this channel to find out about new videos.